How do I know the difference? Hi, right, so I had a question and I did a little I did a little clip video on um, you know manifesting from the point of you know, being ingrained at childhood and where are you manifesting from? What's yours? What's theirs? How to separate it? How to know what is yours? What you came in to do? And how? What is theirs from yours? And is it or or is it both? Right. And so, um, as I'm tuning into the energy, so what I, I came up with here, um, what they showed me is that um, it actually is both because, like, when you're looking at it, right. So as I've mentioned in other videos, right. So we have our pre-designed life, we come into birth, and whatever agreement we have with our parents, we choose our parents, and so they have the energy to bring that, and so that ingrains us. And so it's not bad or good, it's just that's the process. So from there, we live that out, and from our experience being with that parent or parents, whoever it is that we're choosing, whether it is male, female, two males, two females, he, she, they, or whatever it is that you want to, identify yourself by nothing good or bad about it but whenever we come in because we have people who adopt people right and so it's whatever your parents are it's your agreements we agree to who is going to be in our lives at certain points in our lifetime and so from there it's like a jumping off point it's like a set point and we've made that agreement prior to coming in and so from there we're either having the engagements or of course as we're children we're actually kind of being ingrained into it um and from there we get to choose of that experience you know going forward in our lives right and so how do you know how to separate them so you know what is yours and what isn't right you have to kind of just dissect it right because if you're pre-choosing before you come in and you come into the parents that you chose and they chose you right because you're a match at some point certain things in your life there's things that they get out of it just as you do because it's not just one-sided it's all sides right we all get a piece and part of it the experience otherwise why would you right and so you know like even brothers sisters um aunts uncles everybody uh who's playing the roles get a, a part and piece of it they get lessons they get to observe certain things from different perspectives they get to judge things from different perspectives they get to live out their beliefs and their systems you know you may have one person who believes in 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 Jesus, one person believe in no Jesus, and one person believe in um, Christianity, while one person is, is Catholic, and one person is this and that. And so one person um, believes that they're not smart, one person believes they're creative, one person believes, you know, all these different things. So we're all living out these different components and pieces, um, you know, as far as where we are on the path, but knowing what is ours from theirs is not always easy. And so you kind of have to dissect that. Because when you are pre-plan out your life, you come, as you're, you have your life review from life, right? You come in, from your life review, you choose. And so from your choosing, you come into the, the being. And so from the being, you're being ingrained by the experience. And so from the experience, you're picking and choosing as a child. Now, I, I know for myself, I remember doing that, right? Now, I didn't remember doing that until my awakening <laughs> but i remember doing it now that i'm looking back at it and they're teaching me and they're showing me this and i'm like in my life reviews and i'm like yeah i did do that you know and i was like yeah i don't want to be like that i don't want to do that and i judge that and i judge that <laughs> you know and so that's how i picked my experience from the engravement of the experience coming in as a child and so from there you live that out from what you're choosing but even in the not choosing you're still choosing because you're choosing not to choose. And so you still have those experiences that have come up until you choose it. And why you don't choose it, what they said to me is because you didn't have enough knowledge enough to choose it, right? And so you didn't choose it because you can't choose something that you don't have enough knowledge on or wisdom and understanding of it. So you just kind of just don't, right? And so it's not that it goes unchosen, it just goes not chosen, if that makes sense. So you don't choose it. But in not choosing it, you still choose it, right? It's it's kind of like everything exists even in the non-existence. So even non-existing exists because it's the potential to be. And so there's always room for growth and evolution. There's nothing never not or have the ability to grow or evolve, 
right? And so from where we are, as we're coming in and we're being born, um, and we're having the experience of our families, our friends, our school, we're choosing from that. This is what I want, this is what I want, this is what I want to do, this is who I want to be. And we're creating this reality, this identity, this form of who I am, right? But sometimes we just take up things that are of our parents because we're, it's been ingrained. We're just used to them. They're like, okay, well, you have to go to bed at a certain time or you have to uh, do this. And you see that some of these things are set in stone. Like these are cycles that we live out and we don't realize, oh, it's because I picked that out or I've just done it so much. It's become routine. It's just been become programmed within me. And so it's just something you do naturally. And so you may spend your whole life doing that going to bed at nine, <laughs> you know, because it's what you've been taught, right? And so a lot of these things um, come from childhood. And so how do you get out of that, right? And so if it's something that is bothering you or something you don't want, it's, you know, you want to take a look at it and kind of dissect it. Whose is this? Is this mine? You know, is it a cycle that I want? Is it something I don't want or is it something I do want? Um, is it going to help me in my evolution? And just sit down with yourself, take some time out and contemplate it, write it down, write some list, um, write about it. Um, what is it, you know, and just ask for guidance, you know, and for that information to come in as you're writing it down. Writing is a good form of having it. That's why I like to do automatic writings. And a lot of it that comes through me, that's part of my journey, um, is the automatic writing and channeling through that way versus, and then, you know, speaking about it versus, you know, some people just channel right through them, right? And so maybe I'll be there someday, maybe I won't, but who knows? Um, but this is how I, I work at the moment. But anyway, uh, what is ours, right? And so what isn't? So how do you know? You dissect it, right? And it's just basically by taking a look at yourself, right? And at who's around you and where'd you pick certain things up from? And so when you can become aware of the things that you've picked up, uh, you can either overwrite them and or rewrite your go forward going motion by choosing something different. You don't always have to go and live by, you know, what you've known or what you've chosen because there are things that you haven't chosen because you didn't know at that point enough to choose it, right? So you, it went unchosen, right? So, it, but it's still there. You didn't choose it, right? And so that was something that dropped in the other day, which was really interesting. And I jotted it down somewhere <laughs> on my nose. I got so many writings, it's just crazy. But um, uh, I just gotta get these all out in a book. I've been working on that. I've been working on it. And I'm trying to share the information on video as much as I can because I get all these little drop-ins. So, um, so I'll read you what I have here. Uh, we choose our parents based on where we are. And so we have ours and they have theirs. They become one together at the point of conception, which people think is either at birth or during sex, right? Having intercourse, which is not when we have sex or birth, as there is no birth, which a lot of people don't may not understand because it may appear as though we're get, being birthed or given birth to, but how it actually is, it's an ending to a new reality. It's the ending and the beginning to a new reality, right? And so you're taking a new form, whatever that is of that creation. So you're leaving past life into, it's an ending of that into a new life, which is the life that now you're living. And then, so this life will be an ending into the next life that you're living. So it's like an ending too, but we always like to call it a birth, right? And so how that, it, what they're telling us is that it's, it's not a birth, it's an ending to a new, into a new reality, right? And so to look at it from that point, right? And so it is an ending into a new reality that marks a spot in evolution, right? Which is the change of its position and its evolution, where, where it's at, right? And so it's called the set point. Instead, it is where we have an agreement that we have come to an acquaintance um, of being meaning agreeing on and accepting to be of it in the experience together, which is the laying on of the hands over another, which is the agreement. So almost like if you're handshaking, right? It's the laying on of hands, which is the agreement that you come to when, you're, when your parents are picking you and you're picking them and your families. Um, so you're going to get the most out of it in evolution because nothing is uh, for, against you. It's all for you. So what you're picking of your parents is where you are in resonance, you know, things that they you relate to, um, that you're going to get something out of and they're going to get something out of it. And so they're a match to you, right? You can't pick something that you're not a match to. You're not going to be like a frog <laughs> if you're a human, 
right? You're not going to come back in like that. There's no regression. There's only forward motion. It's evolution, right? And so where you are is what you're going to choose of, and those are going to be your parents, where they are at the mass, because you're already in the human form at that point of evolution, and so there's no changing that. So you just choose where you are so you can move forward, if that makes sense, right? And so in choosing that, they're going to have certain qualities, abilities, different things that you're going to learn from. Maybe you need to learn how to manage money better, or you need to learn um, what painting is about. Maybe you need to become a painter in your life, or maybe you need to be a, a musician, right? And so they're going to have those qualities and those things that are going to help you to evolve in that direction, right? And so it's not that it's bad or good. It's just what are you choosing? What, what is it that you chose before coming? And then what is it that you're choosing now after being here? Are you still choosing that? Or are you not choosing that? Or you want to be something else or you want to change it? Because you can always change it. You don't always have to just because you chose it prior to and being ingrained into it, you can choose it, you can change. You don't have to, you're not locked into anything per se. You can always change, right, by choosing something different. So, um, and so to have come to an acquaintance of being, meaning agreeing on and accepting to be of in the experience together, which is laying on hand over another, which is the agreement. The agreement of being into place, acceptance of being to the agreement that you are that you will be and experience all that is within them, but not of them, for you can't. There's only being with them in the experience as your parents or as you are, the one being that is both in the experience of itself, seeing from different perspectives, right? We're all going to have different perspectives in the family, and we're either going to agree with it or not, and that's why we have the arguments, right? We're going to have our own perspective, right? And so we have arguments, and nothing wrong with that. Um, we're not going to ever agree because we're coming from different points of view, right? Um, which is all in one of itself being a source delay person, right? And so in the human form, right? And so to see what is yours from theirs is dissecting it into two components. What is and what is not yours by making a list of what is yours and what is not by its difference, which is its reference to you, right? It's difference, a difference, which is reference, difference. That's how they explain it to me, difference, right? And so how we think about it in, in terms of words and everything, and just to put this out there, like how they explain it to me and how we use the English language is not always the way it is for them, um, but for them to explain to me, they use certain ways of speaking. Um, so difference, difference, right? So your reference is different. Um, but anyway, how it feels to you, not good or bad, for there isn't any but what resonates with you, what I came here to accomplish in my life, that I needed from them, and what I give them, to them, right, or to you. There's two ways, streets, not just a one-way street. It's not just all about you. They have a part and role in it, and they have something they're going to take away from it as well. And so why did I choose my parents in this lifetime and why did they choose me, right? So just start questioning yourself. The timeline is infused at, with both at the time of conception, which is the agreement, as it started way before the manifestation of being here. And so what are the patterns and behaviors of both, right? What are my, my behaviors and patterns of mine and what's theirs, right? Is it the same or are they different? You know, you can make two columns, right? And so what's mine, what's theirs, and see, and then how does it resonate with you? What is, what is the difference? What's the same? Start dissecting, you know, where am I manifesting from? Is this mine or is this theirs? Is this their desire? What if it was their desire that helped you to create the desire of yourself, right? So it can be both. Um, there's nothing wrong or right about it. It's just what is it um, that you are creating and why you came here? So what are my patterns and behaviors? Are they the same or different? Are they learned or are they the match to attraction to them? Why you chose them or they chose you? Of them all, what do you choose to keep in? Which do you choose to overwrite? So you can overwrite what it is that you've chosen prior to or choose something new that you haven't chose before, which is the unchosen, right? And that, that's what fulfills me, not them. So it's about even though they may be here to have helped you to do that, is it resonating with you, right? Is it helping you? It, what, it, what, it, what are you getting out of it? It's, it's still your journey. It's not their journey, right? But they helped you along the path to it. 
but it's still you choosing your own path. You're yourself. You, the only thing you have control over is yourself. There's people who influence you and help you, but it's all about our journey, and their journey is about their journey, right? But they can inter intermix, right? And so, what am I doing? What am and what what am I doing? What is my desire and what is there? Is it both? Why I came here? Only you know what is and what is not. They don't know, but both know itself and its own experience of being of what it has been, but not what it is not being. So rather than seeing as a set stone, because it's not set in stone, see it as a stepping off point to creating something else. Okay, where am I now in this moment? This is where I was prior to creating my life, came in from my, or I created my life for this lifetime prior to coming in based off my life review, where I was coming into birth of my family and my parents, being ingrained, choosing, and then I lived it. And then from here, now where am I? in the moment, right, which is now. What am I seeing? Okay, I'm gonna choose this, this, and this, and this. Okay, I'm gonna live that, right? And then as that goes, where am I now? Here, here, and here, I'm gonna choose this, this, and this. It's always like a stepping off point. It's always like a choosing. You're always choosing, constantly choosing something new or something different. And so that's why even the non-existence exists because it has to exist in order to have the ability and potential to exists as something else. It's the change. It's the formula that's been created in order to allow existence to manifest and to evolve through time, right? And so the non-existence exists. And I know a lot of spiritual people will say it doesn't. Non-existence is called non-existence for a reason because it doesn't exist, but it exists. It exists as the potential to exist as something, which is the choosing of something new, right? And so that's formulated based on where you are, which you can change and manipulate it, right? So... It's kind of like the taking up the space so you can have that leeway to change something. Otherwise, everything is set in stone. You have to have that give and take, right? And so, anyway, uh, it has been, but not what it is being. So rather than seeing it as set in stone, see it as a stepping off point. So it is a, is a place to start from, build off of what was and what is and what I want that you came in to do in pre-chosen then ingrained after it in the acceptance of it, what you've chosen, choosing the experience to live by them or that of itself. That's basically kind of where I left off with that. Um, with that, But yeah, that's kind of just explain it a little bit more. And somebody had posted that, you know, under one of the videos. But I want to kind of give a little bit on that, um, you know, as far as if that was helpful or not. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any questions on anything, you know, I'll definitely check into that and do a little channeling. If something comes, I can add to it and make a video on that. So, all right. Happy journeys.